Welcome to St. Ignatius Chapel. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Assumption. Our celebrant today is Jesuit Father Bruce Berta. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of Mary into heaven. Today we give God thanks for the example of our Heavenly Mother. We pray also for ourselves that we may know healing and forgiveness in our lives. Lord God, you sent your Son to teach us how to love and how to serve. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. He came to bind up our wounds and to forgive our sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. He came to gather all the nations of the world into the peace of his kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sin and bring us to a new and everlasting life. Amen. Let us now give glory to God. Glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, you assume the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory. Grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened and a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. She was with child, and she cried out in her pangs of birth, in anguish for delivery. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon with seven heads and 10 horns, and seven diadems upon his heads. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child, that he might devour her child when she brought it forth. She brought forth a male child, one who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, 
now the salvation and the power and kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have, have come. And the authority of his Christ have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On your right stands the queen in gold of offer. On your right stands the queen in gold of offer. The daughters of kings are those whom you favor. On your right stands the queen in gold of offer. On your, right, your right stands, stands the queen in gold of offer. Listen, O daughter, pay heed and give ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. On, On your, your right stands, stands the queen in gold, gold of offer. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your lord. Pay homage to him. On, On your, your right stands, stands the queen in gold of offer. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. On your right stands the queen in gold of Alpha. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive, but each in his own order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ, then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom of God the Father, after destroying every rule and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for God has put all things in subjection under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Mary has been taken up into heaven. The host of angels rejoices. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a city of Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, a child leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud and the imaginations of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of lowly degree. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham 
and to his posterity forever. Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's an old story about a workman on a scaffolding high above the nave of a cathedral who looked down and saw a woman saying the rosary before a statue of Mary. As a joke, the workman whispered, Woman, this is Jesus. Well, the woman ignored him. The workman whispered again, more loudly, Woman, this is Jesus. And again, the woman ignored him. Finally, he said out loud, Woman, don't you hear me? This is Jesus. Now, at this point, the woman looked up at the crucifix and said, Be still now, Jesus. I'm talking to your mother. I think it is true that many Catholics treasure Marian devotions and doctrines that their non-Catholic brothers and sisters do not under, understand or accept. So because our Marian devotions are not understood, there can be an, a barrier to ecumenical dialogue with other Christian churches. If that's so, why then do we as church hold fast to these teachings regarding Mary? I think it's because the Catholic Church is trying to tell the full story, to proclaim the full gospel. But you might say, isn't the gospel all about Christ and what he did and taught? Well, yes and no. The gospel is about Christ in the same way that the story of the fall is about Adam. In 1 Corinthians we hear, Whereas all die in Adam, so we will all be made alive in Christ. And that's why we call Christ the new Adam. But as soon as we say that, we become aware of a missing link. The story of the fall is not only the story of Adam, but the story of Adam and Eve. If Jesus is the new Adam, who then is the new Eve? Mary is that new Eve. Just as the full story of our fall cannot be told without Eve, so also the full story of our redemption cannot be told without Mary. There are many revealing parallels between the old Adam and Eve on the one hand and the new Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary on the other. Here are some of them. In the old order, the woman, Eve, came from the body of the man, Adam. But in the new order, the man, Jesus, comes from the body of the woman, Mary. In the old order, the woman, Eve, first disobeyed God and led the man, Adam, to do the same. But in the new order, the woman, Mary, she first said yes to God. And then she raised her son Jesus to do likewise. Adam and Eve had a good time together disobeying God. And Jesus and Mary suffered together doing God's will. The sword of sorrow pierced their hearts equally. In the old order, Adam and Eve shared immediately, and the resulting consequences and punishments of the fall. And in the new order, similarly, both Jesus and Mary share immediately the resulting consequences of the redemption, the fullness of life with God. Jesus through the assumption, and today, Mary through the assumption. The doctrine of the assumption teaches that at the end of her earthly existence, the Blessed Virgin Mary was taken up or assumed body and soul into heaven. That means that there are two human bodies 
that we know to be in heaven with God at this time. The human bodies of Mary and Jesus. In this doctrine of the Assumption, we see the collaboration of men and women and the work of our salvation all the way from the fall to the redemption, to the sharing of the fruit of that redemption in heaven. Without the assumption to balance the ascension, the man Jesus alone without the one Mary would be enjoying the fullness of salvation with God, and that would be only part of the story. The assumption is the ultimate proof of the equality of man and woman before God. It also shows us the sacredness and eternal destiny of the human body, including the woman's body, which is often desecrated by pornography and the sex trade. The assumption enables us to tell the full story, the full gospel, that salvation is for all people, for male and for female, and for the whole person, body and soul. Marian doctrine and devotion, when we properly understand it and practice it, does not lead us or, or believers away from God, but rather more deeply into the mystery of Christ. The woman in prayer who thinks that Jesus should keep still because she's talking with his mother has lost sight of that perfect harmony of heart and mind and will between Mary and Jesus, which we see most clearly in the story of the wedding feast at Cana. Mary commanded the servants as she does today, do whatever my son Jesus tells you to do. Let us now profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now... Bring our prayers to the Lord, who has willed that the glorious Virgin Mary be praised in every generation. With Holy Mary, who heard the word of God and kept it, let us ask the power of the gospel for the church's ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With Holy Mary, who enclosed in her womb with whom the world cannot contain. Let us ask peace for the peoples of earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With Holy Mary, helper of the afflicted, let us ask God's abandoned gifts. With Holy Mary, helper of the afflicted, let us ask God's abandoned gifts for those in maternal or spiritual need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With Holy Mary, foremost disciple of her son, let us ask deeper faith for all who worship God in sincerity of heart. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. With Holy Mary, taken body and soul into the glory of heaven, let us ask everlasting life for those who have died. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray with the Pope for small and medium businesses that during economic and social crises, they might find ways to continue operating and serving their communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of glory, may the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary join to ours, obtain for us what we need this day, and lead us to the joys of our heavenly home, where Jesus is Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands has become for us the bread of life. Blessed be our forever. At the meaning of us, water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ and put himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, be pleased with this gift we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sin. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that these gifts that we bring may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. The praise and glory of God's name, for our good and for all the houses of the church. May this offering, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord. And through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts, aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today... The Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, as I am in the highest, let us see who comes in the name of the Lord, as I am in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never stop gathering a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly pray, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts brought to you for consecration that we become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, that will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Buti Tlachale, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have get, gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have gathered here before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For it is through him, and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and grant her 
peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And so, my brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. How happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy really that you should get under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus Christ, the Lord of the Sabbath, the Lord of the Lord, the Lord Although you cannot receive physical communion with us now, we invite you into a moment of spiritual communion. The great medieval theologian, St. Thomas Aquinas, defined spiritual communion as an ardent desire to receive Jesus in the Holy Sacrament and a loving embrace as though we had already received him. His words are echoed by the great mystic and fellow doctor of the church, St. Teresa of Avila, who wrote, when you do not receive communion and do not attend Mass, you can make a spiritual communion, which is a most beneficial practice. By it, the love of God will be greatly impressed on you. At this moment, we invite you to focus on Christ and your longing for union with Him. Express your desire to feel His grace coursing through you giving you strength and courage, particularly in these difficult times. In your desiring union, you are united with us and to Christ. In this moment, we experience the reality that is already here. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to give God glory with your lives. Thanks be to God.